Hey Cancerinos, welcome to your Astro Reels. It's my pleasure to read for you, as you already know. And as you already know, these readings are timeless and signless, so you don't have to have any particular Cancerian placements in your natal chart for the messages to be for you. And you don't have to be watching at the time that I'm publishing it for the messages to be for you. If it resonates, then chances are it's for you. Yay! And if it doesn't, I would invite you to take a step back and then come back maybe a few hours later or a few days later or whenever you feel called and see if you can recognize the message um, at that time. All right? Now, if you'd like to work more personally with me, you know we do everything together um, on our channel. So just look for the Etsy link on whatever page you're watching. I'm already feeling the energy, so let me <laughs> jump right in. All right. So the first thing I'm getting for you, Cancerians, is mailman and message. So there are some messages coming through, and I'm trying to feel if feel into it if it's one message or... Oh, it feels like a message in a bottle almost. So there's this idea of a message flowing through water. So a lot of you, 1 minute 11 seconds, may be feeling some... You may or may not actually be feeling some form of stagnation or just wondering what to do. Or actually, I'm feeling a lot of you may actually be focusing on other things and doing other things, whatever it is. But there is a message that is coming in for you. But the thing about this is that, you know, we're so used to the the idea of messages having a divine timing element to it. Like, oh, you can unlock it with time. Like when it's the right time, it'll reveal itself to you. But in this case, so listen up very carefully, what I'm getting is that you it's an elemental thing. You need to be in a state of flow. So you have to be in yin mode. You have to be in water mode. So if you are... If you, for example, like me, I, I mean, I've, I've noticed today that I'm doing a little bit better with this when I've checked into my energy, but um, I need to bring more water element into my energy field. And of course, you can bring the elements into your energy field in many ways. You can surround yourself by that element. So if it's water, for example, going to the beach, things like that, you can do like Qigong or other types of things, you know, yogic stuff, sensual yoga, yin yoga. These are always you can even look at photos and stuff of water um, drink water it's an energy thing right so you're gonna have to be in a constant state of flow this means and so now I'm gonna translate it to you and how it may how it can manifest in your life so if for example you're very rigid you're very time oriented you're very black and white about things you're stuck on certain things you're stuck on certain things right you have strong beliefs about how things should be or uh, based on the past this is how it's always been so this is how it's gonna be for me if you're stuck in your ways and like that's rigidity that's not flow that's not water element right um, so think emotions think sensuality think allowing look think growing things like that flowing that's the energy here and when they say constant it means you don't just get into like let's go to the beach today hey i got my water you know it's not like that you have to continue to flow when something comes in so let's think for example let's say that you're like dating this new person or you're interested in, in another person um this is just an example or you're interested in another person right and maybe you have a lot of fears maybe you have a lot of things coming up you know thoughts about you know, projections, basically projecting into what could happen for you based on what, and then you can fill in the blank based on your past traumas, based on what you heard about it, based on what you saw on TV, based on what you conditioned, you've been conditioned to believe based on, you know, your unhealed trauma from your parents' divorce, all sorts of stuff that you may not even be conscious of. So whatever that is, when things start to come up, you may freeze, right? Or some of you may attack, right? Or some of you may, you know, run away or, right? But the idea is when that comes up, you, ooh, you, you notice it and then you allow it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm upset about this. Oh, I'm afraid of this. Oh, this is bringing me thoughts about that time. And breathe in. 
Okay, so those thoughts are here, four minutes, 44 seconds. I'm just gonna let that roll through me. Of course, I'm going to have those thoughts because the last time I was in a relationship, it was horrible, right? But that was so a few years ago. And now look at where I am and bring your mind, your body, everything back to the room where you literally are in, that, in the now moment, right? And you pull yourself out of that. Now you're flowing with whatever comes up. So when you get into this place of flow, you can talk about it in terms of allowing, but I'd like you to also think about it in terms of surrender, because there's this idea of surrendering to something. A lot of you are in defensive mode. You're in defense, 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 right? That's like some toxic feminine stuff, right? Uh, you, you're more, or even like your, your masculine may be in his, in its toxicity. I'm talking about your inner stuff, by the way, this is not about anybody else. Cause remember that the outside world will only and can only ever reflect what's going on inside. So if you've got a, you know, crappy partner or something's not going right, you know, <laughs> come see me. <laughs> we will get to the actual spot of this issue. And it's not that person at all. Um, but anyway, so if you are, you know, constantly in defensive mode, that means that your inner feminine, be you male, female, or gender non-conforming, does not matter. Um, your inner feminine, feminine polarity is not in its in its healthy state of surrender and flow, and your masculine is not in its healthy state of protecting and directing in its way, right? And so that's why people are in defensive mode because they do not feel safe. But when you can allow yourself to trust as the feminine energy, if you can build upon those parts of you that can trust that the universe will take care of you, that you will always have what you need, that you know, no matter how things look now, things are going to be okay for you. If you can get into that space of trust, allowing yourself to surrender you just don't surrender because you don't trust so you have to build that trust you can call it a leap of faith you can call it fake it till you make it you can call it whatever you'd like it just boils down to hey let go <laughs> let your mind go so that you can let go of whatever this is lean back and when you lean back and trust fall you literally become the embodiment of flow because now you're allowing yourself to be carried by whom? Source, spirit, Shiva, the plants, nature, whatever, it's up to you, right? You allow yourself to flow. And then that trust calls in something to protect you. And that's when your inner masculine, regardless of your gender, right? Can step in this is balance and right now as we go towards the end of the year this is yin time this is time to surrender this is time to change the flow this is not a time to be dynamic any dyna dynamism that you can to use that word you can be doing should be um geared towards preparations preparing for the winter gathering collecting right? I'm just seeing you bring yourself into flow. And I'm getting a big um, message to tell you guys to work on that sensual. Um, yeah, I, I, I do sensual yoga. I find it very, very helpful. Um, but they were saying work on that sacred. Oh, okay, they, I'm trying to say that word. <laughs> but they're giving me other words. That's for you to sacred yoga. That's sacred, sacred something is for somebody there. But I was going to say work on that. S look, at I'm like, what word are they going to put it? sensitive now they're putting in that word so you guys have to work on allowing yourself to be sensitive again when you're not sensitive you're what you're guarded off right so you see how that is you have to be in the sensitive mode so the sacred mode the sensual mode and if i may say the word i was gonna say now <laughs> sacral chakra okay so sacral yoga sacral chakra flow um Oh, may I suggest a channel that I absolutely love on YouTube? It's called The Bear Female, B-A-R-E. Oh my God, she is so good. And you guys know, if you know me personally, you know that I feel energy. So I feel it flowing through me. I can balance it in myself and things like that. And when I get into um, some of her videos, I'm literally feeling like, oh, and it's almost like I could just feel the, the rush of energy that I was cutting off because I wasn't in that surrender mode, just flowing in. So just to give you another example, for me, 
in my Capricorn South node, like, uh, 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 black and white, let's get this done, regimented. Um, you know, my need to surrender and, and my habit of surrendering, I'm trying to build a good habit, looks like, for example, me making this video at the beginning of my workday instead of already having clocked in to work my day job. And usually I'm already clocked in, like maybe seven, eight, something like that. Sometimes in the past, it used to be even earlier, six. <laughs> nerd right um and i'm just like no i'm prioritizing my flow now because the truth is i don't feel like working right now right now i feel like being in the flow so i was i, I did my yoga stuff then i was standing in front of the um window why because there was so much sunlight filtering in and i felt i just knew i had to stand in the sun and it's not about your mind your mind is gonna be like dude what am i doing <laughs> don't do that right go with the the body the flow and then i knew i had to like stand there and then turn and then turn and letting the energies hit certain parts of my field and then i had to sway and i had to flow with it and i could feel energies coming in the codes coming in a lot of times when we're receiving downloads energetic downloads and i'm getting that uh, for some of you here definitely for at least four of you but for some of you here you're actually actively getting downloads even as we speak because when you listen 11 minutes, 11 seconds to these videos, we're working with energy, right? Um, and so the thing is that they're reminding you when you're getting your downloads, it can be um, as gentle as possible. You can, there. let me rephrase this. There are things that you can do to allow your energetic downloads to come in, um, in, a, in a more, let's say, in a less impacting or disruptive way if you know it so some people start to flow they start to do their their movement their um somatic dances and things like that some people know they just need to go take a nap some people go running they know they have to do something high impact some people have to take to their palettes and start painting you have to go with the flow you may even notice that your body changes in terms of of how it's presenting itself physically some of you may get sick or runny noses things like that that may or may not last long um, some of you may notice that your uh, diet your not diet your appetite changes you want different things at certain times these are all in response to the body receiving these energies through what Ding! the chakras right the different chakras points along your body and, you know we have multiple chakras but you're you, your body has chakras all over. It's not just the seven ones or the 13 or the 12s or depending on what system you're using. They're all over. You have openings. They are they are, um, they are uh, vortexes, right? They're openings that allow your body, your energetic body, excuse me, to metabolize the energy from the universal field. So long story short, um, if this message is for you, there is a message that is coming through to you, that wants to come through to you, that wants to make its way into you. And within these messages will be the answers that you seek, right? You may be doing a lot to try to figure something out or, or want to understand something in your life or make decisions. But right now, you're, you're not supposed to be in dynamic mode because it's like almost too active in order to, uh, too active to perceive of the subtle thing that is coming in. So you have to get into the flow. And the pay to play here is that you're gonna have to give up. It's the C word, but before you put in what C you think that is. <laughs> Sorry, I, I did make myself laugh. <laughs> it's control. You have to give up control. What does control look like from the mental level? It looks like I have an idea of what this is, what this information is. I have an idea of how it's coming in. I have an idea of what it needs to look like. I have an idea of what I'm going to do when it comes. You have to stop having those ideas because A Course in Miracles teaches you, and if you don't believe, you can come see me. We'll work it out in the first five minutes. <laughs> teaches you, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're thinking. You don't know what you're seeing because all you're seeing is a composite sketch, literally in your physical world of your own biases and beliefs about the world. You cannot see that person because you're seeing that person through the lens of your biases. So you, the best you can do is interpret the world, but even then you can't interpret outside of your beliefs. So that's why the healing of perceptions needs to take place. That's why the shadow work needs to take place. That's why the energetic field clearings need to take place. So long story short, 
start getting into the flow check out the bare female drink water and just have fun mm, okay lessen the fire a little bit some of you i'm seeing some of you with a, a lot of fire that's almost like molten rock at this point so get into the flow